So we are in the Vacoma booth today to announce our amazing new tilt coaster, America's first tilt coaster, the Circuit Breaker, as you can see right here. It's a great ride for the state of Texas. It's a great ride, I think, for the industry itself because it's the first of its kind. You have the typical chain lift that gets you up, but instead of just release you and here you go, we hold you at a 90 degree angle, then we release you. The tilting mechanism, the tower, the structure, it's just massive. And there's nothing else like it. You know, there's some great dive coasters out there. There's some stuff like that, but this is something completely different, completely unique. It's, it's been a lot more challenging than we ever imagined where you place things. And because of the uniqueness of this ride, we want it to visually be something, yes, driving down the roads near and around could see, but also kind of a, an impactful ride if you're coming in. So as you drive into Circuit of the Americas, we have parking lot A is what we call it. It's the first parking lot that you run to. That's where Circuit Breaker is intended to be located. We also have an entrance in that general area, a main entrance to the park. Palindrome is on the opposite end with the other entrance. So we have two major coasters kind of bookcasing the, the park itself. So you're going to want to go through the whole park to ride all of it. I, I think what you're going to find with Coda Land now is you're going to see one of a kind, only one of its kind, because it's just kind of grown that way. You know, we are, you know, in the middle of central Texas. I've got six flags on both ends of me and, and SeaWorld, so I have to do something a little bit unique and different. I wanted to not duplicate everything you're used to seeing, so we wanted unique, different, and special. I think one of the comments that's made is, not only is it going to be fun exciting to, to actually ride, it's going to be fun exciting just to watch it. I think it's just going to be a spectacle to see this thing. It's got that tilt motion, it's got the light uh, built into the trains, and the sound built into the trains, so it's going to have that kind of uniqueness to it. You know, there's so many rides out there now that you're seeing that on, and it changes your mood, your feeling on that stuff. So if you can have this, you know, building music as you're going up the lift tower, and it gets you excited, and here we go, and then the lighting effects and stuff, I think it's just gonna make a whole complete experience, especially at night. I think this thing glowing around the park is gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be a different layer at nighttime, like any theme park does. You, have, you turn the lights on at night, it just changes the whole mood, and that's what it's gonna do with this Circuit Breaker ride. So the prototype, I got to visit and see it, I, I almost ran to it. It's so massive, and that wasn't even the height of it. I mean, it, it's a shortened version of what the uh, prototype is versus what ours will be. But climbing up, it, being around it, seeing the, the motors, it's just, it's just so heavy duty, well built. And I love all the technical stuff, I like everything that's about it, and it was just, I'm like, look at that, look at that, look at that, it's just, so, it's just awesome. I, I've always enjoyed and liked Vacoma rides. They're just winning. They're clever, they're smart, and really, the one thing you're seeing now with the Vacoma rides, they're smooth. It's almost like riding on a cloud. Uh, they're just doing a fantastic job. So they've been great. They've been so helpful because we're a new park. We're still learning a lot. And they've really just been a great teammate and, and coach us along the way. They've made wonderful suggestions and, hey, we wouldn't do this or we would do this. So we've leaned on them a lot, and they've been a fantastic partner. So I'm sure there's going to be future rides with Vacoma for Cotaland.